I'm gonna tell you how to make your YouTube videos more engaging so you can get people watching them for a longer period of time so you'll do better on YouTube. And of course, get more likes, comments, and subscribes, which will also help you do better on YouTube. Oh, and really quick, if this is your first time here, I'm Nick, I help people with their YouTube channel. So if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing. But anyway, when it comes to creating engaging content, one of the important parts of that is creating a connection with the people that are watching. And a really big part of that is the language you decide to use in your videos when you're talking to your viewers. In fact, there was a study done back in 2017 where they analyzed over 30,000 YouTube videos and they found that the content creators that addressed their viewer as you in the first 30 seconds of the video, those videos got 66% more views than the videos who did not. So it's pretty interesting what one word can do when it comes to making that connection with the people that are watching your videos. But when it comes to getting people to watch your videos for a longer period of time or further engage in your content, it's really important to make sure that not only are you addressing them, you know, as the person, but that you are also also speaking the language that they speak around the type of content that you make. For example, if you're making gaming videos, there's certain memes about the game or certain things within the game itself that as soon as your video starts or your live stream starts and you start talking about those things, it will instantly show the people that are watching the content that you are as into the subject matter as they are. And if you're making other types of content, like let's say cooking content or real estate content, the same exact thing applies where if you can start getting into the details of the language of somebody that's extremely passionate and knowledgeable about the subject matter, then it just shows right out of the gate that you are already understanding that viewer just by speaking the same language that they do. And just to be clear, this isn't about speaking English or speaking Spanish or anything like that. It's about speaking that insider language that proves or shows that you are as interested in the things that you're talking about as your viewer. Are. For example, at the beginning of this video, I explained to you what it was that I was going to be showing you, but then I also changed the language a little bit to explain how it was going to be important to you or how it was going to be beneficial to you based on the things that you care about about YouTube. And by doing that, I'm not just speaking about those things that you know about, but I'm also making it even more intense by making sure that I'm focusing on the things that you care about. And you can do the same exact thing with your content as well. The next tip when it comes to keeping people watching your videos for a longer period of time and of course engaging more with the content is about accessibility. When it comes to accessibility, we have a few different things going on and a few different options that we can use here on YouTube. The first, of course, is captioning your videos. The reason captioning is important on YouTube is because it is proven that people will watch videos for a longer period of time when they can read along or they can follow along or they can better understand the video through captions. Captioning is obviously also helpful for the hearing impaired, but it's also something that can help people be able to consume and watch your content for a longer period of time when they're in an environment where listening to it might not be ideal. The next tip when it comes to accessibility in your content is to make sure that people can clearly see and hear everything it is that you are talking about or showing or doing in your video. For example, a lot of people watching this are doing gameplay videos, you're doing cooking videos, you're doing DIY videos, you're doing training videos where you're actually showing people how to do things through screen recordings for all of the content or at least parts of your content. And when people can't clearly see what it is that you're trying to show them, they're going to lose interest and they're going to leave the video. To level this up a little bit more, it's also important to know that a majority of the watch time on YouTube comes from mobile devices. So that means that a majority of the people on YouTube are watching videos on phones and tablets, which means the viewing surface they have to work with, it's not big computer monitors, it's these little tiny phone screens. And because of that, we have to make sure that we're optimizing our content for that to create a better experience for the viewers. So if you're doing overhead shots or anything where you're showing anything on camera, it's important to make sure that you are zooming in to what it is that you are trying to get people to focus on. For the screen recording side of things, I personally use Camtasia. I've been using them since 2014, back when I started my channel. Now they're a sponsor of the channel, which is awesome. But when it comes to Camtasia, the reason that I use them and that I've always used them is because they make it really easy to zoom in and focus on the things that you're trying to bring attention to with your viewers. When zooming in, you experience minimal or no quality loss at all, depending on how much you're zooming in. They have a highlight you can put on your cursor. So even if you're fully zoomed out, the viewer can still see exactly what it is that you're trying to have them focus on because all of the attention goes to that cursor. They also have annotations where you can draw arrows on the screen and put boxes around things. It's like an animated thing that they do, which is pretty cool to really focus in on whatever particular area you're trying to get them to focus on. And you can even spotlight certain areas so that let's say that you are zoomed out or let's say you're zoomed in on a little bit and you only need your viewer to focus on this little area over here. You can black out or really darkly gray out everything else that's on the screen to just ensure that the viewer is focusing on the thing that you want them to see so that they can get the understanding or the value out of the content that you're making. And as 
another awesome layer on top of the screen recording features. It's also a really easy to use piece of video editing software as well. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next tip, but if you are interested in Camtasia, I'll put a link to them down in the description where you can try it out for free so you can see all the cool stuff that it can do. And if you decide to purchase, if you use that link, it'll save you 10%. The next thing you wanna to do to increase engagement in your videos, and this one is specifically for watch time itself, to keep people watching your videos for a longer period of time, is if your content supports it, try to use storytelling whenever you possibly can. And really quick, if you think with the type of content you make that you can't wrap storytelling around it, I thought that way about my type of content in the past as well, but then Ed from Film Booth came along and he shares all of his content through storytelling and it, he just does a fantastic job at it. People love it and his complete rate is extremely high and um, it's extremely effective even for my type of content. So if it can work for this type of content, there's a really good chance it can work for yours as well. The next tip when it comes to getting more engagement on your YouTube videos is of course to ask for the engagement. But look, it's not just asking by saying, hey, comment, like, and subscribe. That's not the way to do it. If you're doing it that way, you are doing it wrong. Instead of leaving it completely open and saying, leave a comment, simply ask a question that they can answer down in the comment section. For example, my question to you would be to let me know now or towards the end of the video, which one of these tips resonated with you the most. Now I use that as an example, but I seriously, when you get to the end of this video, I seriously want you to let me know which one of these tips resonated with you the most so that I can make a deeper video about it in the future. But the reason you wanna do this is because when you ask somebody to leave a comment, it leaves everything completely open. And then in their brain, they have to think, okay, well, what am I gonna leave a comment about? What, am I, what is it that I'm gonna say? But when you ask a question, you're starting a conversation. If you start doing this, you're gonna start getting more comments. Now let's talk about likes. Instead of saying hit the like button or smash the like button, give people a reason to hit the like button. Use it as a feedback mechanism, or you can go the Graham Stefan route and just say, hey, hit the like button, it helps me out on YouTube and so on and so forth. Doing that will give them a clear reason to engage instead of it just being some open-ended thing like, hey, just give me a like for no reason, whatever at all. If you take that approach, you will start getting more likes on your videos. Now let's talk about getting people to subscribe. If you tell somebody to smash the subscribe button, there's no information there. But if you say something somewhere in your content along the lines of, if this is your first time here, this is the value that I offer to you, remember to subscribe. So in my case, I already said one in the beginning, but I'll go ahead and just give you another example here to where I could say something along the lines of, if this is your first time here, my entire channel is dedicated to helping YouTube content creators. Make sure you subscribe. Or I could level it up a little bit more and even lean more on the connection side that we talked about before. For example, if this is your first time here, my entire YouTube channel is dedicated to helping content creators. So make sure you subscribe so I can help you too. Now I probably should have smiled a little bit more when I said that, of course, so I could be more inviting, but the idea is to simply give people the reason on why they should subscribe by explaining the direct value that they are going to get from interacting with your content. And seriously, hit the subscribe button. But you can see in those examples how I'm not just saying to smash the button, I'm giving you a clear reason that you should be subscribing to the YouTube channel based on what it is that you are gonna get out of it. The next tip is to pay really close attention to how your viewers are responding to the content that you're currently putting out. Doing this will help you learn how to create content in a better way over time that will help your viewers, the people that you're reaching with your content, it's gonna help them respond better based on what you learn from studying how they react to your content. For this, YouTube gives us a graph report for each video called an audience retention report. These graphs are a second by second report based on how people are responding to your videos on average. And you can actually actually see where people are leaving your videos, where people are sticking in your videos as well. So you can use that information to make better content based on doing more of the things that people respond to better and less of the things that people do not respond to that causes them to leave the videos. Studying your audience retention reports over time and making little adjustments to your content here and there based on the information you get back is going to help you make better content that will keep people engaged for a longer period of time. And you know, when it comes to making videos, the things I've listed so far, that's kind of like the cliff notes of engagement when it comes to YouTube. I actually have two videos that I want you to watch on how to start your videos and how to end your videos. I'm gonna put both of them in a playlist, but they're a deeper dive into some of the concepts that we've shared here. You can go ahead and click into that right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.